Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, sixth grade math divisibility rules foldable. Here is a picture of your finished product. This is what you are going to end up with when you are completely done with this lesson. It's a picture of the divisibility rules for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And so your foldable is going to be a sheet of paper which opens up with flaps and has the rules and examples on the inside. So don't expect that you're going to have to read off of that all of those rules. Um, they will be given to you on the next slide in a video with step-by-step -step directions. Follow the directions in the video to complete your foldable and be sure that you Pause the video every time you need to do a step so that it doesn't go on without you. In our first slide on the video, you will see all the supplies you'll need for your foldable. You'll need an 8.5 by 11 white sheet of paper and a ruler or some sort of a straight edge, um, preferably a ruler because you will need to do some measuring a pencil, a pen, and some scissors, and some brightly colored markers or colored pencils. Something that won't soak through your paper because you're going to be writing on both sides of the paper, so you need to have something that doesn't soak through. So here we go. Get ready and be prepared to pause your lesson as we go. So the first step is to fold your paper so that it meets in the middle and so that it's going to open like two little doors. So you want to fold both ends over toward the center and then you'll be creasing it on the sides. So after you have creased it, it looks like this. It's nice and straight with a line directly down the middle. You want to be sure your sides are as even as possible because you're going to need an equal amount on each side. So do this first folding very carefully. Then take your ruler and measure every 2 and 1 8 inches down the ruler. So your center mark is going to be 4 and a quarter inches. Your first mark is 2 and 1 8. Your third mark is six and three eighths inches and you're just making three marks and that's to divide your paper evenly so that every number has an equal amount of space so again those marks are two and one eighths inches four and one fourth inch and six and three eighths inches. And you can look at my ruler and see where my marks are because they're pretty exact there. So measure carefully. If you're off by an eighth of an inch or so, it's not a big deal. If you're off by half an inch, it's going to affect how your foldable comes out. Next, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw some nice straight lines across your paper so that you will have it divided into four equal sections. So you draw three lines where you made your marks and that makes four equal sections. Then carefully take your pencil and run it down the middle of your paper where the two ends meet in the center and make a line on the inside of the paper. And this shot shows you exactly what that line looks like. So now you have three equal sections on the outside and two equal sections on the inside. Next we're going to open our paper and we are going to draw those same three horizontal lines on the inside of our paper. So you may be able to find your marks from the outside of your paper and find where those lines hit on the outside or you may need to remeasure every two and one eighths inches 
up your paper in order to get those sections straight. Either way works, but whatever you need to do, get those three sections measured and draw horizontal lines. They look vertical in this picture because I have turned the paper, but get those lines across your paper. And when you're finished, then you can see you've got horizontal lines on the outside of your paper, and you've got a vertical line down the inside of your paper, and you've got horizontal lines going across on the inside of your paper. You're going to close that up because we're ready to start writing on the outside of our paper. And we are going to start with the number one, and I put it in red. You can choose whatever color works for you. And I put it a nice box around it so it's easy to see. And it goes in the upper left-hand corner. And then when we open up the flap, it has the first two boxes on the left-hand side behind it. So directly behind where we just wrote the number one, you can kind of see the outline of it in the picture here. We are going to write all numbers are divisible by one. And then to the right of that, we're going to write the example, which in this case is just the sentence that says all whole numbers, because we know that everything is divisible by one. And next on the right hand side, we're going to write the number two in a box. Doesn't matter what color you choose. And this is a little bit blurrier for you to read, but I think you can make it out. It says the number must be even, and then in parentheses it says meaning that it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And then our example to the left of that says 334, and I put the 4 in bold so that you can see that, and then I underlined it and pointed an arrow to it and wrote even. You need to write everything that I wrote. So when I'm doing a foldable, you need to remember that everything that I put on the foldable, you need to put on your foldable. Switching back to the left side, we put the number 3 in a box. And the number 3 has a lot of words behind it, so you need to write small and neat. And it says when you add the digits of the number, the sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. So you have to remember the meaning of the word sum. Sum is the answer to an addition problem. So if we take 4,911 and we add up the digits of that number, 4, 9, 1, and 1, we get 15. And 3 goes into 15. We're going to move on to 4 on the right-hand side. And behind number 4, we write the last two digits of the number must be divisible by 4. And your example is 876,712, and I've bolded the 12, so you can do that too, and underline it and write divisible by 4. Now, when I said that you need to have everything that I have, you can skip the white out. I made a little mistake on my 5 but you should have a 5 on the left hand side and then when we open it up it says the numbers must end in 5 or 0 so that's directly behind the 5 and then our example is 6710 bold the 0 underline it and write 0 or 5 And then on the right we have the 6, and behind the 6 it says the number must be divisible by 2 and 3. See the rules for 2 and 3. So our example is 522. Bold the 2, underline it, and write that it's even, and that's how we know that it's divisible by 2, so we can check off the 2 box saying, yep, we know it's divisible by 2. And then we have to check and see if it's divisible by 3. So we add the digits. 5 plus 2 plus 2 equals 9. And we know that 3 goes into 9, 
So it's divisible by 3, and we can check the 3 box. Yep, it's divisible by 3. So it's divisible by both 2 and 3, which means that it's divisible by 6. I don't seem to have a picture of it, but on the back of this is the big number 9, so be sure to include that. And it says when you add the digits of the number, the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. So this rule is exactly like the rule for 3, which you can see up above in this picture, except that when you add the digits, you're not looking to see if it's divisible by 3, you're looking to see if it's divisible by 9. So if we take the number 954 and we add the digits, 9 plus 5 plus 4 equals 18, we know that 9 goes into 18, so 9 goes into 954. There's that 9, and there's also our number 10. And here's our rule for number 10. The number must end in 0. So our example is 4,390. Make it bold, underline it, and point out that that's a 0. And then you are done with all of the writing portion of this. Your next job is to cut the flap. So you'll see in the picture, I have cut along all of the lines on the front between the numbers to make them open individually so that you can really only see one rule at a time. After you've completed that, you need to be sure you make a page for this in your ISN and include it in your table of contents and glue stick it in. So you're going to glue the only part of this foldable that doesn't have writing on it into you're, you're going to put glue on that part and put that part onto the page so that would be the back of the center section glue that onto your page in your ISN if you need any clarification you can ask me for it when I am not working with other students after you're done with your foldable, be sure that you label the next page in your interactive student notebook with divisibility rules, number the page, and glue the foldable on the left side. Write it in the table of contents so that you can keep track of it, and answer the questions that are on the board on the right-hand side of your notebook. There is no exit slip for this lesson.